Hello everyone, it's Natasha Red here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of the Regal Royals. If you have not already, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future episodes. And also hit the like button and leave me a comment on what you think of today's episode. So I think today's is gonna be a little bit shorter. Oh, also um, click the link in the eye to the last video if you haven't seen that one first because that one's a big one. It's the coronation video and you need to see it before you see this one or it will be a stupid big spoiler okay but anyways we speaking of the coronation this is the same day as the coronation so we are going to see spoiler in three two one queen amelia's baby we're gonna go see the baby but i do need to show you what simultaneously happened at the same time in willow or not willow creek henford on bagley so that's why we are here seeing what is what's going on ariana's doing some garden work okay so so this is taking we're picking up immediately where we left off from the last episode so we are literally about to go see queen amelia give birth after this let me get into what's been happening here it looks like it's gonna be a thunderstorm or something doesn't it like it's mad cloudy but it doesn't matter too too much it just looks so gloomy i don't know but anyways so a few days prior stephanie eastman who's ariana's counselor while she is you know enduring this very long punishment <laughs> mentioned to Queen Leona that Ariana she could probably benefit from a visit from her mom so that she could know that she's still valued despite her mess ups because it has at this point you guys been nearly a year since Ariana has been on punishment and that can have some lasting effects on a young teen so Leona decided to come into town and give her daughter a very swift very brief visit she wanted to make sure that Jared didn't know about this visit so that he could not try to interfere with her punishment. So it was a very quick little day trip, very secretive, very hush hush, very low profile. And the visit went pleasantly. Ariana was on her best behavior. Stephanie, as well as Emma Jean, let Queen Leona know that she seems to really be genuinely improving her behavior. Like she has a better attitude when doing her yard work and she's been getting along with Dallas and she's also, you know, been working hard on her homework so she seems to genuinely be improving so queen leona thanked emma jean for taking good care of her daughter she gave her a very nice gift and she mentioned to her to miss emma jean that she is welcome to tour the esponza castle whenever she gets ready and emma jean just couldn't stop thinking about that encounter and it really put some things into perspective for her so it made her start to think about the choice that she had made a few months back and so she might be revisiting some thoughts there. Oh, speaking of Emma Jean, there she goes on the frame, period. So after that conversation, Emma Jean decided to let her family know about it and let them know that she would be back in a few days because she wants to go tour the Esponza Castle. So now that we're up to date on all those things, let's go on ahead and see Queen Amelia give birth. Okay, you guys, so Queen Amelia is literally about to go to the hospital and give birth. Let's see, where is Harry at? Harry, bring your butt here. Your wife is about to give birth, the freak. And I know that, no, yeah, wait, what is going on? Who is this wearing this crown? Hold on, let me see what's going on. Why isn't Harry coming? I know this is not Harry, cause he does not have any bum clothes like this. Who is this? Sir, okay, I was about to delete him so fast but he's literally the nurse. Maybe this is his way of honoring the king or something. Maybe that's why he has on this because who holds you, okay? Um. So let's let's get Amelia to, what do we do? What do we do? I've never, why is the nurse and, and the receptionist like looking all goofy and weird and stuff? I. It's been so long since I've had a sim give birth in an actual hospital that I don't even know how to do it. I don't know why Harry is not here. Bring your ass here. What's going on? Oh my God, poor Amelia. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what glitch is going on. Maybe he's arguing with his mom because she's like, you need to be at your coronation. And he's like, F that coronation. My wife is about to give birth. Like, are you crazy? Let me try to MC command center his butt here because he needs to be here. Like, where is he at? Where is your man? Get your ass here.
here. There he goes. Okay, so he's here. Because he needs to be here with his wife. But where is he at though? Okay, okay. Let's go inside, Amelia. Let's have this baby. Let's have this baby. Other people are getting in line. Like, what's going on? Is this Abdul's dad? That's Abdul's dad. What do we do, you guys? <laughs> How do you give birth at a hospital? I know you guys are probably like, damn, bitch, really? You forgot how to do this? Yes, I forgot. <sighs> Where is, do, do we go in here? Oh my goodness. I just feel, oh wait, 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 wait. These are the baby stations, right? Treat patient. No, we want to be treated. Use the social referral. What? She needs treatment. How do we get her treatment? King Harry, you're the king. Demand treatment for your wife. Okay, let me put autonomy on full so that they can, oh no. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. But this is so exciting to me. We haven't had any royal babies like that are heirs in such a long time. Okay. so. So let me let them do this because clearly I don't know. And she's been pregnant for some hours. So I don't want her to just plop her babies out in the street. Okay. Can y'all do something please? Go. What, what? What? Oh, this is so embarrassing. They haven't even changed out of their coronation clothes. They didn't have time for that. At least go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Can you, can you talk to the nurse, Harry? Can you say my wife needs help? Can we do that? Can we, can we get some help? Can the receptionist acknowledge that the queen and king are here and that she's pregnant and she needs service like what the freak what's going on here i don't know how to do this you guys <gasps> okay is she about to is she she's sitting no oh my goodness this is crazy okay 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 no he's sitting too get up harry your wife's about to i'm so embarrassed i don't know what to i don't know how to do this hold on let me call my friend real quick <laughs> See if she knows how to get these ninjas their babies. Their baby. Okay, guys. Unfortunately, I just simply do not know what to do. You do not need to talk to him. Like, no. You need to get up and give birth. How does this? This is so embarrassing. Like, do I can I try resetting objects or something? Reset? Come on. Let's let's get some stuff done. Come on now. Mr. Nurse, you wearing this crown, but you're treating the royals like crap. How do we do this? Actions? Oh no. Oh, what is this bald-headed um reception that's good for if she's not gonna help us out? You sitting on that phone? Oh, this is so hurtful. This is literally nuts. I don't even know how to make Amelia have the baby at this point. I feel so bad for her. I am so sorry, Queen. You deserved so much better than me than, than any of this. I'm gonna just send them alone. I thought we were at the hospital. This isn't the hospital. What? I'm so pissed. Oh my god. Where is and Harry is still just here. Yeah, hurry up. I'm pissed. What the heck was that supposed to be then if it wasn't the hospital? You guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, she's almost done. <laughs> this is insane. Not not this. Okay, it's a boy. <gasps> okay, okay, it's a boy. So I said if it was gonna be a boy, I was gonna name him Princeton. So Princeton with Nimberg. And that's gonna be cute because Princeton and Percy, that's really cute. <gasps> Wait a minute, it's a girl too? They're having twins? Oh, okay, okay. This is so exciting. We're gonna name the girl Poppy because that's a P name. Let me know what you guys think of the names. Okay, 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 we gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta go home. I gotta see the babies. Yeah! Yes. Oh my goodness, it just said they had twins. Um, let's follow the queen home and see her babies. Oh my god. Okay, you guys, here's our little babies. So I have a mod that upgrades the crib a little bit, and of course, they're both crying. Harry, bring your ass home. Uh, go tend to your babies. Let's talk with them. Let's rock with them. Let's make a silly face with them. Let's cuddle them. Let's change their diaper. Let's get Get to it. Let's go. Why is um Queen Amelia hysterical? She's probably so enthralled with joy, like she doesn't know what to do with herself. So that's great. And oh, King Harry is feeling very confident. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Let's get these babies taken care of. Of course, they will have servants and stuff help, but they're brand new baby little newborns, so they're very excited to partake in the festivity. So let's have them do that. Period. Poo. Like. Yes, meet your babies. How crazy is it that the same freaking day of the coronation, Queen Amelia gives birth. So even though King Harry feels like it wasn't meant to be, that's pretty iconic, don't you think? That's really something. I think that's really cool. 
I mean, it's chaotic AF, but really cool at the same time. Did they put the babies in Hamish's room? I think they did. Um, Prince Hamish, does he like video gaming? Prince Hamish definitely likes video gaming, but he should also like meeting his nieces and nephews. I just also want to point out that with Winnie, she had said, I need to go to the hospital too. My water broke too. And as you can see, Winnie is still sitting here very much so pregnant, very much so not giving birth because it would be way too early for her to do so. Don't you think that it's interesting that in one of the most televised events, most famous popular events of the kingdom's time, like in this generation, that she would lie and say that she was in labor too, or her contractions were bad when they weren't just because her sister did too. That's kind of messed up. And she probably should be at her sister's side right now, but she's sitting here. What is she doing on the computer? Looks like she's on social media, probably checking to see what people have to say about her. Not checking on her son, not checking on her sister, not checking on her new nieces and nephews, but um, checking to see what social media has to say about her at this event. And also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Scotty was not at, where, wait a minute, where is Scotty? Why did it go to Langston? Oh, interesting. Scotty was gone at the time. Oh, Scotty, did you see them hearts, y'all? Scotty was talking to a female and uh, his female is up here. So who was he talking to? Not his wife. Oh, cheating ass cheating ass. So Scotty was preoccupied. Now Langston, Langston is probably, oh, he's all, oh, he's interacting with Percy. How cute is that? How sweet is that? He is, oh, that's just so precious. So Mabel actually wants to talk to Winnie and ask her, okay, so I see the cute little baby bump, but speaking of honey, why did you lie about your water break? Because the thing is we could have been there for Amelia's birth had you not lied because see Mabel and Langston went to the hospital with Winnie and Winnie is like how could you not believe me as your daughter I didn't make it up I thought that my water broke I just had to pee really bad it's not a big deal and she said look I know I'm not your queen daughter but don't accuse me of but we know that Winnie being Winnie she did lie she knew that her water hadn't broken and her mom is saying look sweetheart I don't want to accuse you of lying but it's seems very sus to me and I've noticed the pattern for months that you seem to try to one up your sister during this pregnancy trying to be one up in your sister is not going to take you far and it's not going to make you the queen you're your own person in your own right you shouldn't do all that nonsense trying to one up your sister and she's like all right I said what I said have a good day and Winnie seems happy I guess I don't know you never know what Winnie's really thinking like because I think she more so is just focused on the fact that she's got people talking whether it's good or bad she knows people are thinking about her and her pregnancy but Mabel oh she feel energized after going off on her but Mabel is oh Mabel said let's hit the gym she really needs to head over to see Amelia oh maybe she wanted to whoop her daughter but she knows she can't because she's pregnant so she's taking it out on this machine I can't I don't know what's going on and what a heck of an outfit to wear right like wouldn't you put on your gym clothes Mabel like I'm so confused maybe she's like I gotta go see Amelia after this I'm gonna keep this dress on I don't know what's going on but anyway Mabel's pissed because she missed Amelia's birth because of Winnie's foolishness and of course she's gonna be there for Winnie's birth too but Winnie should truly have been there for her sister too but instead she made the moment about herself so now Mabel and the fam are probably gonna get ready to go to see Amelia so we're not going to visit them for that part because they're just going to be meeting the babies and everything. We're going to go on ahead and go to the next thing. Okay, you guys. So we are back at the Windenburg Palace. And as you can see, Alberto, who we haven't seen in a minute, is here with King Harry. And he's saying, your highness, I have some important news to tell you. Emma Jean Henford, who is the mother of your father's eldest child, is here at the palace. And King Harry is super stressed. He's like, what? Are you serious? 
this now because mind you this has been three months it's been a three month time skip so you know he was thinking that she did not want to move forward with things so he's like okay I'll leave it alone but now to find out that she's here on the day of his coronation on the day of the birth of his children is a huge upset so Emma Jean let's go check in on her she is sitting and look at how cute she looks actually she is in her absolute best garments to be at the palace and she's just sitting waiting of course there's guards and everything nearby because she can't just roll up into the palace so she'll be sitting here until further instructed but look how beautiful she looks you guys oh my goodness she looks so cute but oh wait a minute what was that oh it's just the nanny okay because um the senior butler right now is tending to the newborns to give the parents a break where is she at where is she at she's supposed to be tending to the newborns but anyways let's go back to king harry so now harry is super stressed out and he's letting alberto know take her to the nearest chateau and let her stay there and, until i can think about what to do next because he knows that his mom will go ballistic when he finds out that she's here he's like hurry up and get her out of here i need some time to think so alberto is going to go find Emma Jean and Harry's like be secretive about it he doesn't want anybody else to know that she's here yet because he feels like it could cause some problems when he wants everybody to focus on the babies so Alberto's gonna come back with Emma Jean here and he's gonna escort her off the property okay so we're just gonna have him chat with Emma Jean so he can come over and yeah share excitement whatever whatever Alberto just oh okay um maybe not share excitement then just just come over to Emma Jean sir get on your job so we're gonna have Emma Jean stay in a rental property in the kingdom somewhere somewhere where Eleanor nor the rest of the family wouldn't think to look and he needs to move quickly because Mabel and Langston and all of them will be here any moment to see their grandchildren so he's telling her all right madam you're gonna oh wait 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 where is she going no 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 something about Windenburg makes people want to steal when that's not in their character so that is not canon to the story my dears come on back Emma because she definitely would not go up in the palace like that it definitely wouldn't happen <sighs> I have to figure out why sims want to steal when they're here because I thought it was a glitch it is some type of glitch but I mean several updates later and it still happened but anyways none of these people would have the balls to steal from of all places the palace so we're gonna have her sit her butt back down oh my goodness yes yeah, sit and chat here but anyways okay I'm gonna zoom out okay so this is a bombshell change of heart we thought that Emma Jean was not going to pursue this but something about her encounter with Leona made her really have a change of heart and she had a change of heart at the absolute worst timing so now Harry has to figure out what he's gonna do so now the ball is in Harry's court. He can say to her like I gave you a chance and I can't deal with this right now or he can try to pursue it because it was his father's dying wish. We don't know what he's about to do um, but he definitely knows he wants her out of here ASAP. So she is going to be staying in a rental property in Windenburg for a few days until Harry quickly thinks about what he's going to do. So what do you guys think Harry should do? Do you think Harry should pursue this? Do you think Harry should send him and Jean packing like you had three months and you said no and now you're coming at the worst time ever like what do you guys think is gonna happen I'm so curious to know what you guys think yeah so I'm gonna go on ahead and end this episode here please let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below hit the thumbs up subscribe bell icon and I will see you guys in the next episode bye oh no wait thank you so much for watching bye